Hello, everyone. Welcome to March 1st. It's Rabbi Rosen here, and it's always wonderful to be able to be with you and share a few pre-Shabbat thoughts. This Shabbat is a special one known as Shabbat Shikalim, one of four special Shabbatot that come before Pesach. Yes, we're approaching that time. Shabbat Shikalim reminds us of how the Israelites were commanded to offer a half-shackle offering to the upkeep, first of the tabernacle in the wilderness and later on the temple in Jerusalem. It was due on Nisan 1, and this is the announcement a month before. Curious how it seems to parallel American income tax season as well. But there is something very profound and very timely in that special portion that is read for Shabbat Shikalim. We are told that the Israelites are to offer machatzit hashekel, a half shekel offering, as their kind of tax for the upkeep of the temple. But the word machatzit has within it a very special lesson. Right in the middle of the word is the letter tzadi, which stands for tzedek or tzedakah, charity and charitable giving in Judaism is considered an act of justice, not simply a kindness that we do if we happen to be so moved. The word tzedakah, tzedek, means as well morality, justice. It's to be at the center of our lives. And as if to emphasize that point, in the word machatzit, the letter tzadi that not only appears in the middle of the word, but it is the letter that separates the letters chet and yud that spell out chai, life. Tzedakah, tzedek, justice, generosity are to be at the very center of our lives. That is, in my mind, the message of that word. We see in so many avenues of life, and especially so this past Wednesday, what happens when moral integrity fizzles, when there is a willingness to put one's own interests and selfishness, perhaps the ability to be tantalized by the rich and powerful elements of this world in the center place instead of justice and conscience. When that happens, some terrible things take place. When one is capable of recentering one's life around moral concerns, around integrity, around that which is lasting and makes good in this world possible, much better things ensue. We sleep better. We can look back at our lives at the end of our days with much more comfort and satisfaction. And so I hope that all of us might endeavor in looking at a portion such as this to remember just how magnificent and beautiful it is when we put tzedek and tzedakah, justice and giving, at the center of life. Shabbat shalom.